weeks until the end of the Mayan calendar. What do you think is going to happen? Mm, good question. Anybody's guess. I mean, I, th I think more than anything it's simply the start of, of, of one calendar and the beginning of a new one. I think uh, a lot of um, emphasis has been placed on this date. I think it's, it's caused a lot of people to fail to act, to be quite honest. I think a lot of people are expecting the world to change. And again, we get back to this, this nanny state situation where we're expecting uh, salvation to come from an external source. You know, I don't have to do anything to fix society because society is going to change in December anyway. It's very interesting. Like last year, everyone was in fear of this date. Yeah, exactly. But now, now nobody seems to be even no concerned about it. It's only it's only a month or less than a month away. It's three and a half weeks away or something. And uh, nobody seems to be paying. Well, you know, I mean, it's it's interesting. I mean, I think it's it's a, a period of of possibility, but I, th I think it's what we do with it. I think this whole rise in consciousness that's happening at the moment is about what we do with, with it, you know. I think we have a possibility here for change, we have a possibility for freedom. I think it's actually the first time in recorded history we've had this possibility for freedom. We've, we've never really had the capability of it before because the system's never been laid so bare before. So more than anything, that's what I think this date is. I think it's a, a time of opportunity for us. And I think that maybe from December 2012 to maybe about eight months later, I think is going to be the crucial time. Even the Mayans themselves say that it's the beginning of a period. And I think that we're going to see a huge escalation in consciousness, to be honest. Um, but it's going to be something that we participate in ourselves. Do you think it'll be anything like the end of the world movie 2012? No, not at no, all. Nothing absolutely, like that? Absolutely no. not at all. I don't think there will be any type of global catastrophes or no anything like that. Events or anything, I don't no? think so. I mean, there could be, but I mean, if, if there is, that's not really my concern. There's nothing I can do about that, so it serves me no purpose to concern myself with it. <laughs> if there is a celestial event, or, or a planetary event, I, I, can't, I can't control that. All I can control is my own environment and what my relationship to this environment is. If there is a cataclysmic event and suddenly there's mass tidal waves around the world, I'll be waxing up the board and going for the greatest ride of my life. I mean, it, it doesn't matter to me. That's not what it's about. It, it's not about when I die. It's not about a fear of cataclysm or it's anything exciting. about that. It's about what I do with the time I've got. And I think that... Um, we are seeing a huge rise in consciousness and that's what it's about. Don't wait to be saved and don't worry about a cataclysm. If it's your time, it's your time. It's okay. You've got to die anyway. Life we is go terminal. through we go through it is, that's the thing. Life is terminal. We go through life and we're trained to live our lives in fear of death. And yet death is the only part of life which that is, is inevitable. It is absolutely inevitable. It has to happen. So why would you go through life in fear of the only part of it that is inevitable? It doesn't make any sense. You miss out on the experience. So yeah. Society has created the fear in us. Yeah, so I don't know what what is gonna happen, but but I say hey bring it on. I'm I'm open for anything. Let's go. Awesome. Like I 
said bring it. Oh, I'll, I'll, grab, I'll grab the board, you know. Bring it. I'll come with you. Yeah, yeah. Got my new board the other day too, so. Oh, there you Why go. You know? So I say bring it on, you know.